Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest as usual. We start with Kylian Mbappe as Barca Vice President reacts to Mbappe Ling saying that not yet to fit rumors. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Pedri Gonzalez, as Barca will have to pay 5 million euros to the Spanish club Las Palmas with midfielder set to enter or to trigger an add-on clause. We are also going to look at that. So guys, as we get right into the stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch the video right up to the very end. Speaking to Mundo Deportivo at a public appearance, Barcelona Vice President Rafa Justo has responded to the rumors linking the club with a move to PSG superstar and Real Madrid target Kylian Mbappe. With the 24-year-old superstar up for sale this summer, rumors emerged on Monday that Barcelona had shown an interest in the 2018 FIFA World Cup winners signing. In fact, some reports even suggested that the Blaugrana were willing to offer up key players like Osman Dembele and Gavi as part of the operation to sign the Real Madrid transfer target. However, the Catalans quickly distanced themselves from the rumors, suspecting that it was a strategy from PSG to force Real Madrid to act. And now, Rafa Justo has spoken out on links to Mbappe. He said, I am not yet to foil rumors. Anything I say as sporting vice president will be making a rumor into something bigger. I want to tell everyone that we have a squad that with Gundogan, Romeo and Inigo is already better than last year. These are rumors. When asked if he is worried about Mbappe joining Barca's arch rivals Real Madrid, used to reply, Not at all. I worry about our team, and what I see is that Xavi is giving it more and more importance in a process that I have already experienced in previous eras. And that's what I'm sticking to. You know, the players who have arrived are very humble players who are going to help these great young talents. We have to try to make the hegemony of winning the league again a reality. Given the financial situation that Barcelona find themselves in, there is simply no way that they can afford the signing of Mbappe and the prospect of them offering um, untouchables like Dembele and Gavi as part of the operation was always improbable. Of course, the Mbappe saga came like a wildfire on Monday when rumors just came out, especially from the French outlet like L'Equipe, saying that Barca officials are set to meet with PSG to negotiate a possible Mbappe move. But of course, at the end of the day, it was very clear that they were fake, very fake. It was even very clear that there's no possibility that Mbappe will ever join Real Madrid and Barcelona. Because when we look at the finances, the issue, the fact things that we are going through, there's no possibility. Some people even said, even if Barca exchanged their whole squad from Mbappe, they will still be unable to sign him. Talk less of registering the player in La Liga. You know, so it's going to be a very complicated situation. Rafa Yuster, the vice president of Barca yesterday, was asked of the same. And I like, I love his response, saying that, please, I'm not here to foil rumors. It, will, it is already clear that all those were just fake news, made up stories. And reports came out later saying that it was all something planned by PSG to make Real Madrid react. In what way? I still don't understand the kind of reaction they wanted from Real Madrid. And among all clubs, you targeted the Barca to link the Mbappe to? All those were just false rumors, you know. Barcelona have nothing to do with Mbappe and they will never, I don't think Mbappe will ever dream of ever playing for Barca. He's a publicized Real Madrid fan. Yeah, we know that even though shit happens, but... I don't think Mbappe and Barca have any relations at the moment. Especially given our very poor financial state, I don't think Barcelona even think or even imagine for a split second about the possibility of bringing Mbappe to the club anytime soon. So it remains to be seen how things go from year on in. 
Barca are focusing on their own operations. Well, even more, in fact, it is even more than us to handle some of the transfer stuffs. Talk less of going from Pate when we are not even able to handle players for 20 million. Barca can't buy. Barca will be trying to get players by cutting wages and so on and so forth. So it's not an easy time for, for us right now, to be honest. Then on to the next story of discussion. In a very short time, Pedri has grown into one of the most important players of FC Barca and one of the best young midfielders in the world. The Blaugrana signed a Spanish prospect from Yuli Las Palmas four years ago and loaned him back to the club for a season. Since returning to the club in 2020, Pedri has become a permanent fixture in the middle of the park for the Catalan Giants when fit and available. Now, as reported by BTV, Barca will have to make a permanent payment of 5 million to Las Palmas imminently once Pedri plays 45 minutes or more in three more matches as he will be activating an Aaron clause into the agreement. Barca paid an initial 5 million transfer fee for Pedri, but there were many variables and add-ons included as part of the agreement. As confirmed by Las Palmas president, Miguel Angel Ramirez back in 2021, the Canary Islands outfit could stand to make as much as 23 million if the midfielder fulfills all the clauses and bonuses included in the agreement, he said. From the day we have made the sale of Pedri until today, we have collected about 11 million, he told Cadena Ser. Once all the clauses have been met, it could reach up to 23 million. We also get 15% of future sale, he, he confirmed. One such clause seemingly, um, you know, stipulates that Barca would have to make a permanent of 5 million to last Palmas should Pedri future in 45 minutes or more in 100 matches with the Catalans. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.